Welcome to Stranger Than Fiction. Today we are going to take a look at one of the most bizarre stories in history. This is the story of Sporus, a young boy who became the concubine and later the wife of the Roman Emperor Nero, such a wild and tragic tale, steeped in the intrigues and excesses of ancient Roman history. In the mid-first century AD, Nero, the infamous Roman Emperor known for his erratic behavior and extravagant lifestyle, sought pleasure and indulgence in unconventional ways. It was during this time that Sporus, a young boy of exceptional beauty, entered the imperial scene. Sporus, often described as having an ethereal beauty, caught the eye of Nero, who was known for his eccentric tastes. The young boy's features were said to resemble those of Nero's deceased wife, Popeye Sabina, whom he had allegedly kicked to death while she was pregnant. This resemblance may have contributed to Nero's infatuation with Sporus. Nero took Sporus as his concubine, and the relationship soon became public, causing a scandal in Roman society. To further solidify their connection, Nero went to extraordinary lengths. He had Sporus castrated, a practice not uncommon in the ancient world, particularly for individuals destined for roles in the imperial court. This act marked a significant and irreversible change in Sporus's life. As Nero's favored companion, Sporus was granted privileges and luxuries. He lived in opulent quarters within the imperial palace, adorned in extravagant clothing, and attended to by a retinue of servants. Despite the apparent favor bestowed upon him, Sporus lived under the constant scrutiny and gossip of Roman society. The climax of this unusual tale occurred when Nero staged a public wedding ceremony between himself and Sporus. The event, complete with a full bridal procession and lavish celebrations, shocked the Roman populace. Nero, already notorious for his flamboyant lifestyle, seemed to revel in defying social norms and challenging traditional Roman values. The wedding between Nero and Sporus was not solely an act of personal indulgence but also a political maneuver. Nero was keenly aware of the disapproval and resentment his rule had generated among the Roman elite. By flaunting his unconventional relationships, Nero aimed to showcase his absolute power and dismiss the opinions of those who opposed him. However, Nero's rule came to a tumultuous end. Faced with rebellion and the threat of impeachment, he took his own life in 68 AD. With Nero's death, Sporus found himself in a precarious position. The succeeding emperors, particularly Vespasian, who sought to restore stability and traditional values to the Roman Empire, did not share Nero's indulgence for scandalous relationships. Historical accounts differ on Sporus's fate after Nero's death. Some suggest that he fell out of favor and faced persecution. Others propose that he continued to live a life of luxury, albeit in a more subdued manner, under the protection of Nero's former attendants. Unfortunately, historical records provide limited details about Sporus's life before he became the concubine of the Roman Emperor Nero. The available information primarily focuses on his association with Nero and the subsequent events during their relationship. In the case of Sporus, his emergence into the historical record occurs when Nero took him as a concubine. The lack of information about his pre-Nero life might be attributed to the selective nature of historical documentation or the limited surviving sources from that period. Sporus's story, as it is known, is inseparable from his role as Nero's companion and the subsequent events that unfolded during Nero's reign. The lack of detailed information about Sporus's life before his association with Nero adds an air of mystery to his persona and leaves much to historical speculation and interpretation. The story of Sporus is a captivating episode in Roman history, showcasing the excesses and eccentricities of Nero's rule. It serves as a testament to the fluid and often unpredictable nature of relationships in the ancient world, where personal and political motives could intertwine in ways that challenge our modern understanding of love, power, and identity. This story shows that one man's unconventional bizarre ideas can become a very real reality, especially when you have the power of a ruler, and those powers change the young slave boy called Sporus's life forever. Do you think the history of the world is more shocking than the world we live in today, or have we just become accustomed to the bizarre world we live in? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe for more.